Previously on the Rachel Zoe Project. I'm pregnant and I'm at the busiest point in my career right now. The timing could not have been worse. No, it's okay. I will always be a stylist. Always think that happy accident. Presentation's coming up. I mean, there's a lot going on. So we need to get someone else. There's a huge part of me that's always loved fashion. Right. And that uh, I'm a hustler. Right. I work my ass off. And I want it. I am nervous as hell starting my first day at Rachel Zoe. This is amazing. It's gorgeous. I'm not going to lie, this really excites me. I love this collection, but if the buyers and editors don't agree next week, I don't know if we're going to have a second chance. I just looked at the RSVP list and almost threw up. Every major editor and every major buyer is coming to this presentation. So, Jeremiah, just so you know, this is going to be your ultimate test. <laughs> trip tomorrow breaks down like this. Day one, we're showing the collection to Women's Wear Daily. They are the most influential fashion magazine out there. Day two, presentation, we're showing it to buyers and editors. This is the first time we're showing the collection to the world. Day three, the buyers come back and God willing, they buy. If they don't buy, none of this matters. Basically, it's a culmination of Rachel's entire career. And it's in front of a huge audience, and that audience being her peers and people that she respects and that she's worked with for 20 years now. So I'm trying to impart the gravity of it. I'm extremely stressed. I've spent a year prepping for this, and the last thing I want to do with my time right now is sit around a conference table with a bunch of people talking about how important it is. Like, I know how important it is. Can I just please go do my job? This is super, super, super important for us, for Rachel, and for really for all of our jobs, for everything. Well, this is the biggest, single biggest thing we've ever done. Ever done. So, anyway, it's getting more difficult for Rachel. She's not sleeping well at all. I would have liked her to have been here at this meeting, but she's not, because, again, she just needs to rest up. Jeremiah, we obviously need all hands on deck, but in addition, I think Rachel's going to have you pull some jewelry to accessorize the line with. Okay. Um, everything has to go through Mandana. She knows what we need to do, when we need to do it, how we need to do it. So she is the point person for all things. Really quick, as far as the jewelry pull, are we thinking just clean, simple? Yes, something along those lines. Like studs, hoops, and like bands. Like yes. nothing. It's not about, it's not really about the jewelry. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Just call me if you need to. Okay. I know and trust Jeremiah and his style. Pulling this jewelry is really simple. A monkey could do it. So, Go back to let me wrap. Great, love you guys. All right. Thank you very much. See you all in NYC. <laughs> Choosing the jewelry for this editor's event is my first opportunity to show Rachel exactly what I've got. And I cannot mess it up. I'm going to go look at jewelry, I guess. Did she start pulling some stuff out? Yeah, I'm going to start putting things in the suitcase. Okay, cool. Hey, girlies. Hi. Hi. Literally cannot believe going to New York. Okay. I know. I I can't even wrap my head around this right now. And it's going to be the fastest trip. You guys know this is my last trip. Yeah, that's so weird. I can't fly after this trip. It's crazy. Yeah. Being pregnant, it's this weird thing. I don't think it's fully registered yet. It's like, yes, I'm pregnant. I've had, like, this really, like, great-ish pregnancy. And you kind of feel like it's, like, part of the thing that I do. But then you really have to think about, like... Okay, this is the forever thing. This is not like part of my job. This isn't like right. another thing you check off on the list. Like, launch your collection, style award season, do a photo shoot. And after being pregnant, it comes yeah, to the baby. Totally. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, I think it's just starting to hit me right now. Yeah. My job is already beyond overwhelming most of the time. So when you add pregnancy, complete memory loss, total exhaustion, and then perpetually sweating, it's just, it's so not chic. Oh my God. I need 
to do with jewelry pull for Rachel? I need studs, hoops, bracelets, anything to go with her line. Do you know the kind of styles or what they're going for? Minimal, chunky? I think stuff that would be more simple and just clean, but this is my first jewelry pull altogether, so I'm, okay. a little, I'm a little frantic. I can build you a house, but I don't know what the hell a hoop is. It's a little bit overwhelming. Sorry to bother you. Did you know that there's like five different types of gold? So, like, what type of gold? Are we looking more towards, like, rose or... I would definitely say, like, the one rose gold, yellow gold, silver. Okay, um, so, silver. Don't forget, don't forget silver, which is, like, a golden silver. Gilver? I have so much to learn. Is it okay if I take a picture yeah, and send it to Madonna? Earrings and wearing chains. Where were your thoughts um, on that? Then what's a wearing chain? The long ones, like this, and you could wear it kind of matched up. Yeah, I think something like that would be pretty. We have a few different simple hoops, and we have small with the pave diamonds. Hey! Surprise! <laughs> it's me again. Hi. Did you do you get the final picture of the jewelry pool with all the simple stuff and all that? Oh. I just want to make sure everything's right. No, 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 this is Let's hope that Rachel agrees with Mandana's opinion, because I really, really want to do well for her this week in New York. You look pretty. What are you yeah. going to wear? Getting just pregnant takes a lot longer, and I don't have longer time. Today's the most insane day. We have the Women's Wear Daily shoot, and it's the day before the presentation. Women's Wear Daily's been my Bible since I started in this business. I read it every single day, and if they don't like my collection, I don't know that I can actually get past that. Don't kill my baby! Stop! I just have to spray a little bit. Babe, I need hairspray, love. So hot here already. I'm dying. Let me see you. Boom. Boom. Scarf eating. No, no, I think I think this scarf, right? I don't like either of them. Like You're a bitch. Black, I, black is I just think you need something plain, but I want black nothing. Joey, just do it. Joey, plaid is something. Plaid and tweed work. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Coco Chanel. Boom. I'm like having an outer body experience being around you. Mm. I should like you. just my hair and makeup artist. He's like my eldest child. He's my best friend. He really helps me with everything. He just fits into my world and he's brutally honest with me, which I actually really love. He's my family and I miss him. All right, let's go. Hurry up it's going to be a long day. Thank you, love. You have my phone, Rose? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Like, I think one of the things I always knew that I would do was be a designer, but at the same time, I didn't want to be a designer mm -hmm. because of the pressure that I watch my friends that are designers go through and, like, having, you know, the most prestigious people in the business um, judging you. You know, you only they're have judging. one chance. They're judging you. You have one chance. Like, okay. you can't do a next season if this one doesn't work out. <laughs> the big thing is, at this point, it doesn't work out. It's I'm big, not sure what the next problem. 10 years look like. I keep styling. That's yeah, scary. but you know you're gonna be in your two, you know, couple of kids in your fifties styling. It's just not. <laughs> couple of kids in your fifties. I haven't even be, hit forty. It's not gonna be Where kidding. the f did that come from? A I'm couple of saying. kids. What the f are you doing, lazy ass? Jeez. You should be nicer to her. Don't stress her. I am nice to her. Nice but firm. No, I swear to God, if I wasn't in your life, you guys would be divorced. <laughs> Joey, marriage this is what... Is that another thing you do, marriage counseling? Joey, this is why know. you I'm need to Joey come. I'm Joey of all trades. You named me. I know. Joey of all trades. Hi, Joey. Giselle, you need to come, my love. You need to come to L.A. Being with Joey like this just reminds me how much I love having him in L.A. with me. And I just feel like I need him around for the rest of my pregnancy because he just kind of lightens every situation. You guys, that's it. Dun, dun, dun. All right, guys. Let the games begin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? My stomach just dropped. Why? Just saying. Well, because
his right here. Oh my god. She needs you, Joey. She's pushing a lot of bras up here. I think she has to question every person that walks into her life from this day forward. single detail is so crucial today. My collection is being photographed for the first time, and tomorrow morning, everyone is going to see it in print. Some of this we can switch around. Yeah, we're going to separate them, yeah. All right, just see what happens. Yeah, just put everything on the t-shirt. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. Should we do it a little deeper? I think more like this, right? Yeah. A little, a little more wine and less bright, I think. Both the eyes and skin is bright. I'm beyond nervous, but I can't let that show. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. How is everything? I'm good. You look great. Oh, God, thank you. A little flustered. These are some of the highlights of probably what we're going to shoot today. What I tried to do is really hit a little bit of everything so that you get like a, a complete wardrobe. This jacket is one of my favorite things in life, and I did it in a longer version, which I can show you as well. Right, yeah. So yes, my love. Oh, that's kind of great. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. How do you like the clothes? Yeah. You like it? <laughs> color is amazing. Good. Great. I love it. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, so again, ponchos, capes. This is one of my favorites. I will be wearing this, well, pending him, I will be wearing this as soon as he's born. I'm going into this jumpsuit, just saying. So on top of the article and the review that Jessica has to do that's going to make or break my presentation before I even show it, they actually want to photograph me in my collection with the models. It's like insecurity on the highest level. Look at me, baby. No, don't. Stop. I really hope my collection sells well. I mean, the thought of being on the floors next to Rag and Bone, Diane von Furstenberg, Philip Lim, Alexander Wang, it's like, it would be surreal. Dream come true. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> when the fabric is delicate, mm -hmm. so that Genius. we don't jack the sequence. Tricks of the tree. And he gave it some effect tricks of the tree. I cannot believe this is my first day working with Rachel, and I'm already learning so much from her. It's fascinating to watch her in her element doing what she does. I'm loving every second of it. Rachel's like, yeah. He's like, this is perfect. Rachel Berman! This is a character. Don't say that name. I hate it. Sorry, babe. Okay. Rachel Berman is your name. It is not my name. Oh, it is your it name. It is not my name. It is your name. It is Rachel not Berman. my name. Do we like it like no. this? No. We're hanging off. I didn't ask you. you guys brought Jeremiah in, or is he, he's your friend, right? He's just so easy. What's his Jeremiah? background? Like, what did he do he, before? He's done a lot. I mean, he did some styling, but he's he's a furniture designer, and he's an interior decorator. He a just furniture has, designer? I know. He, like, he, like, literally, like, tear out the wood off the floor and start building you. I know, but, I mean, like, that. I guess that that's like a creative job. Like, I do hair and makeup, but, you know, I also could style if I wanted to. Rachel needs somebody that's going to totally know what to do, know how to think, know what to pull, know what to say, know how to be on set with a new client. And I just think that a couch is a completely different thing than a dress. He's, like, shredded. Look at this. Can you felt this? Oh, my God. Have you seen this? Oh. <laughs> Jeremiah, I didn't know that was under so are you Rachel's joking? I can't you know what? Guys. That's why she lives for The big surprise is going to be that the baby's really mine. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Wait, I can't believe you haven't seen Mr. It. Abercrombie here. Okay, guys. It's a wrap. Um, for me, so I'm going to rethink everything in my sleep. And we're going to regroup, and I will be here at, what, 7 a.m. tomorrow? Today went amazing, but... The reality of it is, it's all about tomorrow, and I would say I'm about as nervous as I could be. 
the article and presentation tomorrow are really going to make or break whether I continue as a designer or I fail miserably. I can't think. Rachel, grab your bag. I am. Put a it's coat on. It's winter outside. I know. And now I'm just so... You can't take the bus. My name on the label. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. Don't guys, forget your I coat. I love you. Thank you for everything. My coat's in the car. Hi, bitches. <laughs> true to who she was but she completely shocked me and did something yeah. so different that must have been a lot of work especially so with the pregnancy and she has so much that. going on she needs you Joey she misses me she literally every morning goes I need Suzu especially in a lot of broad stuff here I mean I just I mean, he was like Rachel yeah and she really loved it. Whatever. It, it is what it is. Is he honest about everything at least? Basically he was he said he wanted to like slow things down and have like his own life and had spent time with his boyfriend and just really have more a more normal life. Because working with Rachel is not a normal life, as you know. Mm -hmm. And I totally respect it. We both respect it. And then unfortunately I just think like the next the next week he signed with like a management company. That's sorta of not what we had thought he was gonna do because he told us kind of the opposite. She I think she has a has to question every person that walks into her life from this day forward. Somebody like me, she automatically feels comfortable with me. Right. And it's a feeling that I give her. Rachel put it in my head today that she wants me to come back no, to no, you and now I'm like... No, you have no idea. Now she brainwashed me into up. thinking that I need to be there. I mean, her timing to say that to me is perfect because I'm newly single. I mean, I'm not even going into details. It's like... But I, since when? I have like... So camp on my brain, so I'm, I'm okay? strong. I'm okay. Getting out of a relationship is difficult for everyone. It just means major change. And seeing Rachel and Roger again could be good timing. This is where I make money. This is where I'm constantly being booked. And I would have to like really think about coming out to LA. Like, even if you came out like for three months, we pay you enough money that you're happy. I'm, like, I have lived here for I'm so long. You, like, I need to get in my car. Wait, if I came out, you would give me your car? I would like, yeah, because I'm getting in the, the car. So I, <laughs> I don't know no, how to the other, stick, No, the other one, the, the little Mercedes thing. No. I'd be open. I'm thinking about I'm it. getting closer. So you can have a car, you can have money, you can hang out with us every day. Did you, you become can, my business yeah, partner well, or my sugar Oh, no, daddy. totally, both. <laughs> That's the same thing. I think it would be very nice if Joey was around while Rachel's pregnant and through this time. I mean, we don't have any family on the West Coast. And I think that Rachel's very close to Joey, and she feels a certain kindred spirit with him. And we need people we can trust, and we need people around Rachel that make her feel comfortable. I'm open to thinking about it. But listen, like, let it marinate. Now, I feel like this is the biggest moment in your life. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This, like, excites me more than anything, right? Because women's work daily is my everything, right? Well, I mean, I feel like this is the biggest moment in your life in more of the ways than one. Oh, my God. Best dress ever. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's the biggest Mother picture of me ever. Mother invention. Is it time to stop calling Rachel a celebrity stylist? It's barely her day job anymore. Oh, my God. Women's work daily is my life, and I can't believe that I'm seeing myself in it. Whoa! Serious picture. Mother of invention. Uh, oh, she just had like Honey, a... you read it. Because I, Joey and I gotta uh, get ready. I can't be late. Oh my god, my heart's racing. That just made me nervous for some reason. Who's laughing now? Oh, honey, they picked you laughing and goofy. 
Rach, you got a lot of real estate in this issue. I know. It's I'm not lying. Making me Single really page jump from her own collection. Um, the clothes look so cool. I couldn't be happier with a Women's Wear Daily article. It's exactly what we needed. Because, you know, especially with Rachel being a celebrity stylist, and there's a lot of haters out there. So I think that even if some people like the line, they might have felt uncomfortable buying the line. But once Women's Wear Daily said, this is great, I think things are starting to look good. I'm not necessarily nervous. Like, yeah. I'm trying to keep it in, but... Do you like it the length? Yeah. It's a long, right? No, I like it. All right, then. Love, I'm very proud of you. Honestly, so anxious. Chill. You're gonna do amazing. I'm proud of you. I love you. Can you guys like not have sex? Oh, sorry. Are you still here? Yeah. You're so annoying. Why are you always here? <laughs> That's coming from somebody that like begged me to come to LA. No, I don't beg you to come anywhere. The, that offer is rescinded. <gasps> you suck. You suck. You can't live without me. <laughs> I can't live without you. I know you can't. Joey. What? What if people don't like my collection? Your life is over. <laughs> well, I still have my baby coming, so that's something I look forward to. I think so, too. That's a great way of looking at things, Rachel. So if people don't like it, they can go f*** themselves. <laughs> presentation is in two hours, and all that matters right now is that every detail is sorted. You put George in this because she fit it perfectly. Amanda actually fit this white suit perfectly. Done, done, done. She set all the shoulders. Did it look good? It looks gorgeous. I don't think these two should be together. I would never wear that one. Sweetheart? Oh. I'm not supposed to know that you're here if you want to take pictures. Okay. So mean. It's not that love. I just can't. I gotta do this. I can't focus on you. running around and hustling as this is my first fashion show I've ever worked. I really have to prove myself as a valid and important part of the company. And I hope I'm doing a good job. She like these jeans? They're cute, right? I think we should try this. Can we get her into this? Hi, Pammy. space because it's not right and I want everything to be absolutely perfect for Rachel. So we're gonna have flowers, I'll have something with height over here, I'll do lower, everything's glass so it's kind of clear, you can see right through it, it's clean. Do we like the placement of the mirrors? Is Rachel gonna like the placement of the mirrors? You know, I'm having a panic attack. I'm sweating profusely, I'm gonna slide out of my suit. You know, and this isn't the styling stuff, so this is more like I'm trying to show the other parts of the Yeah, but brand. this is what you really know, so... Yeah, but that's what makes me nervous. I don't want to just know this for her. I want to know the stuff that's going in the back, no, I too. I understand, but and I like... want her to be proud, just as proud, for the stuff in the back, and not feel like all I do is this. You're going to be helping. You don't understand. We have 16 models. We have to do four looks three times. Like, if I will tell you it's good, I can vouch for Rachel. She's going to like it, but it actually has to be done. Okay, I can't talk to you anymore. I'm going to do it. Jeremiah's really stressed today. I don't think he fully knows what his role in the company is yet. I don't think he 
totally understands what Rachel expects from him. I think he knows that she has very high expectations, and I think it's going to take him a little bit of time to really figure out what his needs are, but once he does, I, I think he'll be great. Models, if you have to pee, do it now. I need somebody to cover Irina's bruise, please. Jeremiah did a great job pulling jewelry. I actually loved everything, but in the end, I decided that I actually didn't want to use any jewelry because the clothes were just great on their own. Do you think they need jewelry? Right? No. Yeah. So Rachel loved what I picked. We're not using it, but she liked what I picked. At least I know I won't get fired <laughs> for pulling the wrong jewelry. Jeremiah, Madonna needs you. If you can run for her, I don't know. Look up. And while you're touching up. I want you to take deep breaths. <laughs> I'm near her. I want her to. I absorbed all her nerves. I want her to take deep breaths. And I want her to think about what's happening. I don't know. Amazing. No, I'm, I'm just being, I'm, I'm almost like thinking about nothing so that I don't get nervous. Yeah, that but makes you know any sense. Don't think about anything. I got no, but I want you to just be able to recognize what is going on and how great this is. She could put this. Just hold it for a second. Or really, 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 really proud of you. Don't start crying. Yeah, don't get emotional now because Go away, I can't Pam. take it. No, I'm fair. I'm just watching and proud. I Thanks, Pam. She can't think, Pam. I know. I just have I'm to speak. That's the way I've learned how to deal with her. I just speak when I can. Um, well, let me give you a big hug for the day. I love you. Thank you for being with you. Yeah, sorry. I wouldn't Rachel, have missed it for the world. under here. Okay, great. I just want to fix Bree's suit. Let's go. Go fix Bree's suit. something really big and amazing. So, fingers crossed. Hi, everybody! <laughs> Work it. Well, this is um, definitely the scariest thing I've ever done in my life, um, but I have to say, um, the most exciting. I'm going to present to you a few groups today and uh, just share a little bit of my, my baby, I guess. This first grouping, this is the Parisian girl. I have an obsession with the French culture and everything that has to do with Paris. I really did a lot with tuxedos, a lot with seatings. The idea is to be on trend, but not too trendy, because I want people to really hold on to these pieces and wear them in a lot of different ways. Thanks, girls. Seeing the collection come out, watching it on the girls, Presenting it for the first time ever to the most important people in fashion. I mean, the whole moment is surreal, honestly. I've subconsciously been designing this collection since I was little. The inspiration will always remain the same. It's always going to be the Paris girl, the London girl, the downtown Manhattan girl, the uptown chic girl. Um, it's a girl that loves fashion and has style, but her style may jump around a little bit. It's more of a time period that influences me, primarily 60s and 70s. Yves Saint Laurent is always going to be probably my biggest influence. Halston and Frisia Bordeaux. Sitting in the audience and watching Rachel present this collection is so emotional. We worked so hard together for the last years. There's a story behind every button and every hem, and it's just crazy to see it kind of all come to life in front of you. I just want to say that um, I didn't know that I'd ever do this. It was kind of the thing that I sort of questioned all the time. Should I, shouldn't I? I'm not sure, blah, blah, blah. It's definitely one of the scariest things I've ever done, um, but your support means everything. Whether you like it or not, you guys showing up means a lot. I'm just saying. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I was three miles. Thanks for coming to you, but I love the collection. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. This thank is you great. so much. Thank you. Hi, my love. That was great. Guys, thank you for coming. Oh, you guys did an amazing job. You really are amazing. 
I'm always gonna be the girl that thinks nobody's coming to her party and that nobody's gonna like anything that I do. So the fact that people are responding the way they are is just like mind blowing. Definitely a little bit let down that Rachel forgot to thank me. <laughs> then again, I haven't been working here for about 25 minutes, so the fact that she even knows my name, I guess, is a step in the right direction. Whoever else I'm missing, I'm sorry. I love you all. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't be happier with the response from today, but at the end of the day, I have to convince the buyers to buy the collection tomorrow because it doesn't mean anything if it's not in any stores and you can't buy it anywhere. It's really all about tomorrow. Family hug, family hug. We do love you. Hey, Just don't squash the baby. baby. Now we gotta sell. Well, I hope it works out with you working for Rachel. What do you mean you hope? Well, I, I hope. I've seen a lot of people come and go. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I think of Jeremiah yet, so I asked him to have breakfast with me to see what he's actually doing working for Rachel, because everybody seems unclear. Really? Yeah. See you later. <laughs> oh, can I? That is so weird. What? Great minds think alike. Joey and I are wearing the same exact outfit. <laughs> Perfect. So how do you like working for Rachel? Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. You know, it's one of those things where I'm still trying to get acclimated to it and find, like, my place in it and where I fit. If you don't step up your game and, like, be on her, you're going to fade and she's going to forget who you are and yeah. what you do. I just want to make sure she's happy. I'm just going to hustle and work my ass off like usual. She's happy when you automatically know what you need to do. Like, everything falls on top of each other in her life. So you need time. to be like, okay, that's not being done. Yeah. I'm going to do it. She likes people who are pushy, but from a good place, I Absolutely. guess. The most important thing to Rachel when it comes to her employees is that she doesn't have to worry about you. I'm not sure if I see that in Jeremiah yet. Well, I hope it works out with you um, working for Rachel. What do you mean you hope? Well, I, I hope. I've seen a lot of people come and go, and, you know, she's not going to lie to you. She's going to be honest to you. She's not going to just, she's not going to waste her time or yours. Having breakfast with Joey? has made me realize that I am going to need to find my place in this company and I'm going to have to do it immediately. I don't want to get lost in the shuffle. I like the color. I know, it's a great color. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown. There's so many looks that Eric and I are like, why don't we show that? Today we're back at Michaelson Studios for the tail end of this crazy New York adventure. And we've invited some of the Neiman Marcus buyers to come in and look at the collection again to see if they want to write an order. Hopefully, a really big order. I think I said it during the presentation, but I was super careful not to make anything too bulky, too heavy. I just like you get more mileage out of it when it's more transitional. I'm hoping that Neiman's, Bergdorf, Saks, and those levels of department stores buy the line because those stores have customers that look for that type of clothing. So if they don't buy it, I'm not really sure where we're going to sell it. Ken! Ken Downing is the fashion director of Neiman Marcus, and he pretty much makes all the major decisions of what designers to support and to carry and to put in the windows and how much space they get on the floor. And I really hope he likes it because his opinion is everything. You know what you need to see on the red tuxedo? How major! This beautiful. I love this dress so much. Not great. I love the jeans. So cute. Uh, I love it in the black. And I think as we go through, I mean, you know, the, you added a couple woven shirts, which I definitely think were needed. I, I think we could even have a couple more woven shirt shirtings. First attempt, I think that there's a really good balance of tops, bottoms, coats, jackets, dresses, soft, hard. I think it's almost A plus for balance of product here. I love the sequin cardigan with a bugle bead. The quality is exceptional. 
Does this mean what I think it means? Is it really happening? Um, but online and stores will have it yeah. covered. Oh my god. Not only does Ken love the collection, but he's actually planning on buying almost all of it. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Isn't that great? I'm so glad you like that. Hi, honey. I get to hug the mom to be first. Yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't make it yesterday. Don't worry, honey. You're here now. You're here now. But I have a present for you guys. A present? A present. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, God. This is the L shoot. You get to show him and say, This is mommy and daddy in your first picture, right? Oh my god, I just got so changed up. This whole experience is beyond amazing. Thank you. I honestly don't think I could ask for anything more. Yourself, I could bust a think of my anymore. Think of my, me when I was pregnant. <laughs> I have a silly question. Yeah. I need to prep the nursery. I also need like to, to do, like, everyone wants me to register for things. Okay. okay, but how do you do this if in the Jewish religion it's superstitious okay. and you don't do that? So, so there's what I do. Because I, I need to be prepared. Okay, so you get everything and then you put it elsewhere. So it's not going in your house. It's going to go in the studio. It's going to go in someone else's house. You fill up the room with everything that you need and then any gifts you get go to that same location. And while you're in the hospital, we all trek it back to your house and set everything up. The reality of it is my sister's kind of an authority when it comes to pregnancy and childbearing and raising and birthing and all of that. And, I mean, let's face it, I'm like Carrie Clueless. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Hey. It's your Auntie <laughs> Pammy. It's Auntie Pammy. <gasps> oh, I feel something. He's moving. I think it's, it's a foot. Something. You don't want Roger to likes to think it's his penis, but it's not. <laughs> He's like, oh that's my, my son. <laughs> that's the thing sticking out right there. I'm like, that would be a foot. <laughs> Oh my god, it's I been can't, so long. I can't imagine how claustrophobic he is. <laughs> I would it's be going out of my mind. Are you ready to like give birth? No. There is like a child slash alien slash vampire growing inside my stomach. And what I can't figure out is the giving birth part. Like I just want them to put me out and take him out. He won't when feel you anything. When you had a C-section, I need to understand this. Okay, what do you want to know? You're actually awake. So you yeah, know that you're cut open. Yeah. But you yeah, see, that's actually the part that I can't deal with. I'm just Listen saying. Listen to me. You're awake. Not to you're get, like, graphic. numb from here it down. It doesn't matter. I don't want to know that someone cut me open like a piece of freaking, like... No, and they say, oh, here chicken. comes the head. Here comes the feet. And then they lift it up All right, above I the screen. I think this is actually freaking me out a little. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Oh, my God. God. Maybe you shouldn't come out to LA. I know. Who said I was coming? Right here, right now. You're coming to LA. Honestly, this is baby Roger. <laughs> How much is this whole look? Mm -hmm. That's all. Around 100 to 110. Okay. okay, cool. Registering for the baby is insanely exciting. Look at the blouse under it. I mean, there's no budget. It's Rachel Zoe we're talking about. It's your pajamas. Look at the collar. We definitely need that. This. This for sure. And then like four hoodies. And shorts. Booties. Burp pots. Yes. Blankets. Towels. Hats. Yeah. Robes. Those for sure. Every baby needs a Jesus sandal. Yes. Yeah. How much are these? Um, they're one of $105 for Jesus sandals. Yeah. Rachel is going to be so happy. Okay. I think our job is done here. Thank you so Thank much you again. Did. Oh, this store is delicious.
serious. Yeah, what, what shall we do? I know Rachel what told me to do but like, no, let's be serious. Why don't we like discuss things? Yes, we can work out, like, you come out for three months, we pay you X to make sure, like, take care of, like, figuring out where you live, and give you my car. Rachel being pregnant, she needs, like, familiarity, comfort. Comfort zone. And she kind of only trusts you. Listen, are you paying attention? Yeah. Big mouth? I've made my decision. What did you do What's your goddamn decision? Hand me the keys to your room. Yes. <laughs> I didn't expect Roger to push me so hard to come back out to L.A. I mean, I knew they loved me, but I didn't know they needed me this much. And it's kind of amazing. To a million new beginnings. No, and we're going to do so many Honestly, I'm coming. Drink. Okay, fine. Okay. Well, Joey's coming out. That's good. Rachel's going to feel great about it. Now I've got to figure out what to do with him. He's sort of my responsibility now. Oh, and I think I might have promised him my car. I wish I didn't say that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Next time on the Rachel Zoe Project. Tomorrow, big shoot with Kim Kardashian. I'm so excited. But I can only take one of you. Oh my God, you look absolutely bananas. What my friends were thinking about. Going to Vegas or something? How did you know, honey? It's not happening, you're not leaving. Don't even think about it. But your husband's be mad. Why? It's I'm the one that's so pregnant and fun. uncomfortable and working my ass off. Because he works really hard to be a great husband. I don't think anyone understands the amount of crap I'm dealing with. To learn more about The Rachel Zoe Project, go to bravotv.com.